Hello everybody, it's I Love Milk, and this video is going to be a pretty special video, I suppose. Um, as some of you might know, uh, or have, if you paid attention, might have seen that uh, there's been this really off, I mean off as in the sense that it's it makes no sense with the Pokemon stuff, but you've seen this uh, probably Mickey Mouse tin, I don't know if you could have told in, in certain angles right when it was there but it's a Mickey Mouse tin and uh, I don't know if anybody would have like wondered like why is that there <laughs> it's probably just there just uh, for I don't know decorative purposes which I suppose it is decorative but it's holding something it's holding many things and uh, depending if you've been here long enough or not uh, you know that these or this tin I mean holds these little these little guys right here hopefully I can zoom or focus in on that it's pretty much this is a phone strap and uh, I make these out of the bootleg figures that I find that I get on eBay um, and I also make these like shrinky dink little things that you'll, you're I'm gonna show you right now um, and so this is a phone strap of course it goes to it hooks up with uh, your cellular phones or with the case of the, your phone so uh, if I guess uh, let me demonstrate something uh, I guess how to hook this up um, hmm. should have planned this out okay all right I got it I got it okay here this pen right uh, let's say this was the hole of where it would go to right this little slot in the pen you pull that through you open up the the wire or uh, the wire the little loop and you pull on it see just like that and that's how a phone strap works actually you know what <laughs> this matches really well with the pen this is nose pads of course there's others um, these I did not make in the sense of the figures or paint them in any way uh, pretty much how I got them is how they're gonna be made into uh, phone straps or keychains also Make them into keychains. Let me put that right there. And that's what this has. It has many, many keychains, many phone straps. Uh, the shrinky dink ones, the flat ones that you'll see, were handmade, I suppose, or crafted, or, pers or not personally, but made from scratch, pretty much. Uh, the figure ones are pretty much uh, the I bought on eBay. And I just put the keychain on them or the phone strap like this one over here. Um, and I'm going to be selling these. I've had them for quite a while. Uh, I think I was I had planned on selling them uh, a while, while back. But I just never got around to it. And I pretty much uh, not forgot about them, but kind of held them off. But what with the holidays running uh, coming by, running around... Well, with the Halloween holidays uh, coming soon, I was thinking maybe you guys would be interested in getting these for maybe someone uh, you know, or maybe for yourself, um, maybe to send to some other people uh, that you're trading with, or you know what have you. Uh, I really don't know what the set prices are going to be with these, especially for international, because for international shipping, uh. If I were to ship in the U.S., of course, it's less. If I were shipping outside, of course, it's going to be a little more. Um, but depending on what it is um, or where it's going, I'll adjust the prices accordingly. Or maybe I'll just have it to where international people have to pay uh, for their own shipping, I suppose, aside from what these would cost. Um, so I would say that the figures are probably going to cost a little more than the flat ones, simply because the flat ones can be shipped in an envelope. Uh, while the figures the figures have to be shipped in some kind of like bubble mailer or something uh, simply because through an envelope it'll probably rip apart or whatnot but I'm just gonna go ahead shut my mouth and uh, just show you guys what I have here so I have the Lugia one of course it it's painted how it is from when I got them uh, this one's actually pretty cute uh, this is the a uh, uh, Golding they made it look like as if it's it's hanging from its mouth, kind of like a fish, like it got caught or something. It's pretty pretty cool. I like it. Reuniclus. 
Again, I did not paint these. These were already painted that way. And you'll see that uh, some of them are phone shoves. This is the Shrinky Dink ones that I'm talking about. These I had to make from scratch. These are my own arts. Uh, hopefully the camera's picking it up right. Uh, to get the art or to get the colors right for those is pretty hard because when baking them, uh, the color darkens. This is Welmer. What with Oraz coming out. Kyogre keychain. This one's pretty cool. Again. You can fix the painting when uh, when you get these, I suppose, if you really want to do that. But uh, I just put, I just made them. This one's, see, this one's a little messed up. Uh... I could make custom ones of these, but I'd have to first start making money off of selling them um, so that I could buy the supplies for it. Uh, so, you know, hopefully, hopefully by then I would have sold already some of these and uh, be able to get more supplies to be able to make these. I have more. I'm just trying to show the figure one. See, this one's halfway made. Some of these are hard to put on, but that one's halfway made. I haven't put the the ring on there. So is this one? It's like an Ivysaur or Venusaur. I'm sorry if I'm going away. I'm using a different uh, stand or different uh, box that I'm recording on. Spoink. This one's actually pretty pretty well painted, I'd say. Of course, uh, phone straps could also be used as keychains in the sense that, uh, ooh, this one, this one's a mega Absol. This is actually being held for someone. Um, so this one would not be for trade, but this one was custom made for someone, and then I had printed and uh, shrunk, or baked, or what have you. Yeah. Mega Absol. So that one I'm going to put on the side simply because uh, to keep a reminder. So if, if there's one that you're not seeing that you'd want, this is a keychain. Then obviously, um, I could have it made, of course. You're going to have to wait. This is, this is funny. It's, uh, ooh. Sorry about the autofocusing. My phone is pretty weird at the moment. This is, uh, I don't even want to say it. That's a funny Pikachu, though. Kabuto. Some of them are made uh, from molds of actual uh, Tomy, Bandai, Hasbro figures or whatever. So this is obviously a copy of one that had a stand. But it, these are bootleg. These aren't uh, legitimate figures whatsoever. Uh... Again, I'll probably by the time this video I am um, I uploaded and whatnot, I probably will have a set price in the description down below. So now we're getting into these. I, I just wanted to get away. I wanted to show the figures first and move on to the ones I had to make and paint and whatnot. So this is a Mew phone strap, Charmander phone strap. These were made by me. The pictures. None of them were got from someone else's art. This is a Mega Mega Bennett. Porygon. The uh, the color on this one is darker than what it should have been. I should have made it lighter. But it's okay. This you know, sometimes sometimes you gotta practice uh, with colors first and then you make you know, you change the, the lighting or the brightness of a certain color. Cute Chansey keychain. Uh, Drifloon. The phone strap. The back of these have nothing. The back of these have nothing, but maybe I could sign it if you want me to sign it or something. Um, another Mew. This is a Mew keychain, and this is the Mew phone strap. Again, doesn't have to be on the phone. You could use it as a keychain as well, uh, just through a loop. Oops. Bulbasaur. There's a heart on its face. A heart spot. Dead to name. D 
ghetto. Um, these I had to make a uh, custom. Now oh, this is shiny phantom. I really love this one. Shiny, I love shiny phantom, or phantom in general. It's my favorite six-gen Pokemon. But <clears throat> the reason these are custom made, and I, uh, is because you one cannot make uh, handmade stuff like this using someone else's art. Uh, that is copyright. So, uh, you know, it's illegal and I could get charged if I were to make uh, uh, one of these of someone else's art or something that I find on the internet. Can't do that. That's a no-no. In general, nobody can do that. Uh, female Pikachu. Gengar Keychain. I love this Gengar. Shiny Dratini. Mewtwo Keychain. Sorry about the weird shadow again. Uh, this I'm using a different angle and stuff. Uh, uh, this is supposed to be Shiny Latios. But I don't think it transferred right when it baked. I think the, the colors got darker. So it became bluer. But the eye is the shiny color. I, I really like this one. And the shiny equivalent of Latias. I really like that one as well. I like those two. They look very, very nice. Um, Snivy. Now the, this is bigger. I adjusted these. The size, as you can see, the sizes, uh, depending on how you print them. But I just wanted to use... Um, I wanted to print out more Pokemon on one sheet to be able to make more. And uh, I think I have I think I have one sheet or two sheets left. I believe one sheet left. So depending on if you guys want a custom Pokemon made, or uh, if you don't see the Pokemon you like, uh, and you want me to make it, I'll have that one sheet. But hopefully, uh, if any of these sell, I'll be able to I'll be able to uh, of course buy more supplies and therefore make more for. Uh, Maybe you want me to make some for uh, someone you know, someone you love, someone you like, a brother, sister, uh, another PokeTuber you want to trade with and give to them. Uh, of course, again, these have nothing on the back. So the Cherubi. I could sign them, I suppose, or maybe you want me to put a little message. I don't know. Uh, here we have a Dark Cry keychain. This one's pretty cool. I like this one, too. And the last but not least, uh, this is experimental. This is a Mewtwo magnet. It's a magnet. It's not that strong. It's it's uh, it, it it it'll hold. Let me sh show you. There, it'll hold. You know. Yep, it's gonna hold. It's not that strong in the sense that it's not a Neo. Uh, I forgot what they're called, but like really strong magnets. So these. Are handmade and uh, I'm I'm hoping that they do sell. Hopefully, you guys do like them and you want to buy some. Again, if you want to make some of these um, handmade, I have one sheet left, and if enough sell, I'll be able to make I'll be able to make enough to buy more supplies to be able to make these uh, or make more uh, custom ones that you guys are looking for. And of course, these are already uh, made. I just I just have to buy them or whatever. So pretty much the ones you see of the figures are, you know, I can't make custom figure ones. Uh, so first come first serve for the figures, but for the for the handmade ones, I could of course make more copies of these. Uh, just let me know, and hopefully you guys like them. Of course, uh, the price will be in the description down below because I will, you know, adjust them accordingly or uh, you know. I would like to sell them in the U.S. simply because it'd be easier to ship. If it's international, I don't know how that's going to work. Whoa. <laughs> Pick. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work with the shipping, especially with these. These probably would... I wouldn't mind shipping outside because they're flat. But these, I'd probably have a hard time shipping them. But let me let me know in the PM me or comment if you want to buy something. These are first come, first serve all of these because what you see here is what's already been made if someone decides to take this one 
and you wanted it, uh, well, I could make another one, but of course I'd have to sell uh, enough to be able to buy the supplies to make it. So thank you guys for watching. If you saw anything you like, PM me or comment down below that you want it, and I'll let you know if it's gone or not or it's yours. I accept PayPal and uh, I guess money through mail, but PayPal would definitely be faster and shipped like that. Um, money through mail, I'd have to wait, and of course, uh, you know, it's it's a whole process, right? Um, but PayPal would be preferred. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time, and milk is out.